Welcome back to the second channel, guys. It is me, AJ Smurf44. So today, guys, I wanted to do this video as a way to end off the year 2022. So the, by the time you guys are seeing this, it might have already been 2023, or yeah, if not, it's going to be the last couple of hours of 2022. And I just want to take a moment to talk about how 2022 was for me on a personal level, because this year was a big year for me in terms of personal level. A lot has happened this year, and um, we're going to go ahead and get on with it. So I'm going to keep this video hopefully short, hopefully six minutes, at the very most, six to seven minutes. That's the target for today's video. And remember, guys, when you're right here, consider hitting that like button and the subscribe button as well while you're down there. And comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's go and start with the first thing that really impacted me this year was the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel for me really kicked off this year. Because even though I did start it really officially 2020, it really didn't kickstart until this year. This year, a lot of growth came in. A lot of people started to join my live streams. We actually had a decent turnout in a lot of the streams and a lot of the videos as well. And um, obviously, as you guys know, my main channel, I reached 1,000 subscribers. Um, and I'm just about nearly getting monetized there. Um, uh, right now, I believe we're at 4,000 watch hours. So I just need to wait for YouTube community to send me that email. YouTube partner program to send me that email to officially be notified. And I should be getting that email and hopefully in the coming days and hopefully I can get approved and um, hopefully I can start um, rolling out those advertisements and you know all the fun um, perks of being monetized you know so it was a big year for me and obviously for this channel in particular it was really established um, this year as well you know um, like I said this channel was mainly just there as a side thing you know I, I try to make videos on here every single week even with my main channel and then of course you guys know I'm a student so it's really busy man it's really busy and difficult to you know maintain both um, you know, but I've tried my absolute best, you know, like I said, the guys, that's why I always try to guarantee you is one stream, one video per week on this channel. You know, every Sunday we do the Wordle streams. Um, you know, I do interactive base. I let you guys take the guess. I do even take, make most of the guesses. You guys do the most of the guesses and I'm starting from the new year's on. I think I'm going to incentivize people. Like if you like per se, let's say how many letters you get correct, I might give you a point. So whoever gets like the most points by the end of the year. I might give them like a special shout out or like a prize or something. I don't know to further incentivize. So, you know, I really recommend you join those Wordle streams every Sunday or something um, at 5 p.m. Eastern time. will probably the times times will be set on that um, and maybe even done earlier or um, later, depending on how the week is for me, because sometimes I might be busy at that time. But generally speaking, though, 5 p.m. is Sunday Eastern time will probably be the time that we will probably allocate for the uh, Wordle streams. OK. Uh, then obviously you guys know um, on the second channel, you know, I've been doing a lot of other videos, you know, some other random videos like Total Drama, Dog and Ropa related videos. I'm even thinking about doing some other videos like uh, kind of like life lessons. I'm thinking about doing some videos like that on this channel. And who knows, I might even do some academic stuff on this channel, you know, with my academic career as well. Um, we'll have to wait and see though in the coming days and weeks and see how that fares on this channel. Because like I said, guys, this channel is strictly non-football. So anything non-football goes on this channel, except for, you know, politics, of course, I'm not going to do that stuff on this channel. Of course, personal information, too personal, I'm not going to give, and we're not going to obviously discuss that here on this channel, and so on and so forth. So now let's go ahead and get back to me as a personal level, my academic career. So obviously this year, guys, I, I think I've done a great job, you know, with my academics. I've maintained nearly all A's, with a few exceptions, only two classes I got B's in, and um, I just I finished my junior year first semester. So I'll be doing my second semester next semester. Um, hopefully I'll be able to complete that and then get my senior year done and hopefully graduate by the year, um, by the month, December, 2023. And um, I also did get the internship agreement thing. You know, I finally did get a release form. So hopefully I can sign that and get that approved. It should be approved in the next few days. I hope previously, um, I'm probably going to be doing internship during the summer. So I may not be as active as I normally would be during the, um, the, the regular year but um we'll have to wait and see though and then obviously um um during like the uh, 2024 i'll hopefully do my master's program where you have a job by then it depends what happens with internship though so we'll see what happens with that uh, hopefully i can uh, get a job by 2024 hopefully so yeah i think that's going to be it for today you know like i said um it was a great year for me overall very solid year i really enjoyed this year i think this year was way better than 2021 you know a lot of things loosened up you know I don't have to wear a mask anymore like that anymore in public. You know, I can finally, you know, don't have to wear a mask. You know, I got vaccinated as well. And, um, yeah, it's been a, a big year, guys, a big year for us. A lot of highs for me personally. A few lows in there. Obviously, not every year is going to be perfect. There will be always be lows. And I want you guys to do the same in the comment section below. So tell me how this year was for you 
on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to say on a scale of 1 to 10 for me this year, I'm going to give it a 6. I thought this year was a... Um, actually, I'm going to give it a 7. I thought this year was relatively good for the most part. Um, and um, I think hopefully 2022 can even be better. So, like I said, um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, you guys, like this video. If you did enjoy, subscribe if you're on Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. And peace out, guys. Peace out.